With their Corolla Touring Sports model, Toyota aims to bring us a compact yet very spacious estate that's a cut or two above the class norm. This version boasts a sharp look, a smart interior and a high-tech hybrid pair of engines. And it's still very practical, with a decently sized boot. It's a car that's been rehabilitated. This generation Corolla design was the first of the brand's models in Europe to offer customers a choice of two hybrid powertrains, a revised 120 brake horsepower 1.8 litre system and a fresh 178 brake horsepower 2 litre unit that's engineered for more power on demand and more effortless acceleration without compromising overall fuel and emissions efficiency. As full hybrids, both powertrains have the advantage of offering limited all-electric drive capability with zero emissions and lower fuel consumption. Both, as you would expect, are also matched to a seamless belt-driven CVT automatic transmission with six speeds. This is one of the better looking compact estates. Some of these look a little awkward with the kind of finished shape that brings to mind a hatchback being squired by UPVC conservatory. There's nothing like that here. In profile, the Touring Sports model shares its hatchback stablemate's steeply raked windscreen, which flows into an extended roof line with aluminium roof rails. Inside, the cabin feels considerably more upmarket than the interior of an Aris Touring Sports model ever was. Material quality is impressive with copious use of piano black and metallic style surfacing. Further helping with the overall feeling of greater sophistication is the view that you get through the three-spoke leather stitched wheel, that of a smarter instrument binnacle that Toyota has chosen to present with a combination of digital and analog design. Anything it can't tell you will probably be covered off by this 8-inch Toyota Touch 2 centre dash screen that deals with the usual DAB audio, Bluetooth, navigation and online connectivity options. This model's more generous exterior dimensions should be particularly obvious in the rear. Actually, it's fairly tight space-wise by class standards, both in terms of leg and headroom. Restrictions rather emphasised by the way the curved roof lining slopes down ahead and to the side of you. Out back, there's a 598-litre boot in the 1.8-litre hybrid variants. In this 2-litre hybrid, the figure is 581 litres. With the rear bench folded, all derivatives offer 1,591 litres of capacity and 1,860 millimetres of load space length. Toyota thinks that the vast majority of Corolla Touring Sports buyers are going to like the hybrid-only engine policy here and a look at the WLTP efficiency stats reveals why. A typical 1.8 litre hybrid Corolla Touring Sports on 16 inch wheels manages up to 62.8 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle and a CO2 reading of up to 101 grams per kilometre. Now bear in mind that these figures rise quite a lot if you fit larger alloys. The Trek variant, for instance, on its 17 inch rims delivers bests of 56.4 miles to the gallon and 113 grams per kilometre in 1.8 litre hybrid form. For the 2.0-litre hybrid touring sports model, you're looking at a best combined figure of 57.6 miles to the gallon if you buy in a base spec. Again, with larger rims, those figures rise. This 2.0-litre Trek model manages bests of 53.3 miles to the gallon and 121 grams per kilometre. All of these figures will be helped, Toyota expects, by the fact that for most customers, up to 50% of typical commuting journeys will be accomplished in all-electric drive. In summary, this Corolla Estate variant has something about it. Okay, so it's not going to have the enthusiast press getting all excited, but here is a car many people would be delighted to have on their drive. Nothing about it suggests that you've settled for a life of suburban mediocrity. Sometimes practical is good. Welcome to a surprising new world. <laughs>